It's the M-O-P-O-W-E-R-Z where knowledge is power. How are you all doing this weeping Wednesday of a day? And if this is your first time watching the M-O-P-O-W-E-R-Z, I ask that you share the information with friends, relatives, co-workers, hell, even the guy that's standing at the bus stop. It is a terrific way to jumpstart your conversation with someone that you know or don't know. And the reason that today is a weeping Wednesday is because of the police officers who were not charged in the murder of Breonna Taylor in Louisville, Kentucky. Now, if you all go back to the video that I made Breonna Taylor on this page about two or three videos ago, you will hear me talking about the officer who was a former police. And I believe his name is Hankinson and he was a former pro police and just so happens, which was not disclosed at the time that I made the video, that this officer was actually terminated. So how was he on a police case invading a person's home and killing them, shooting inside their home and he wasn't even a police officer. And the police officers that were legal and were not terminated, those three individuals, you know, two, they haven't been charged at all. And Breonna Taylor, mom's to be sort of upset, but it is just my suspicion, as I said in a prior video, that I believe that that $12 million settlement was a part of this deal. Now, she may not publicly announce it, but it is my belief, just knowing how these legal proceedings and settlements take place and the conclusions of many of them, well, it's safe to say, seeing that only one got charged and the other ones are on continuous paid administrative leave after the fact that Jefferson County Attorney's Office was found guilty of trying to assassinate Brianna's character by including her in her ex-boyfriend madness which he went publicly and made a statement about the Jefferson County Attorney's Office, and it's called Commonwealth, if I'm not mistaken. So you tell me. So are officers allowed just to run up in your home, shoot you, kill you, and even though they have the wrong person, it's okay for them to do that and they just get away with it? Every day, it ends up being okay or justified to kill your mama, to kill your brother, to kill your sister, to kill your daddy. Because we are the police officers. And no, we are not always right, which lately, none of you all have been right. <laughs> I'm just saying, and for the few that have been right, I blame you because it is you who allow the bad people the bad law enforcement, the bad cops to get away with what they get away with because you too pussy to stand up. But you say that you the police, but I understand your code, but how can you protect and serve or be trusted to protect and serve when you have your code of silence that won't allow you to do that? Can anybody help me out with that? Am I making any sense to you all? That's all I'm saying. See, it is just from my standpoint that most governors of states should be like, what's uh, the man name? Michael Pence, when he was the governor in Indiana, he gave residents to the right to blast the police if they invade your property without a no-knock. You got the right to blast them. And it's the law in Indiana. Maybe they should make that law in Kentucky. However, seeing that the laws of Kentucky the way that they are, 
It's going to be hard. And they're always trying to justify their wrongness. Yet, every time you get arrested, you're automatically wrong. You're not innocent. You're guilty until proven innocent. In this justice system here in America, you're guilty before you're innocent. You actually have to prove your innocence. And even though in certain states across the country, you know, it is on the state to prove that you're guilty. And then in certain states, it is up to you to prove that you're not guilty. And it is up to the prosecutors to make sure that they prove you guilty. So what do you do? What do you do about that? Louisville, Kentucky is going to be on fire. Now, ironically, you had the chief of police there and the governor, if I'm not mistaken, call for a state of emergency before the verdict was even released, meaning that they already knew. They already knew we're going to get prepared and we're going to make this uh, a state of emergency state because of this high profile case where law enforcement fucked up and don't want to address their fuck up and serve the consequences to those who are guilty. They don't want to do that. They don't want to do the right thing. How can you expect the citizens of a state, of a city, or whatever you have, and you have some type of law enforcement there and they are not right with themselves, how are you expecting the citizens of that town to act or conduct themselves. It's hard to live righteously in a wicked world, especially when you have wicked cops who enforce unjust laws to make your life a living hell. You don't have to die to go to hell. If you are a black man or black woman living in urban America, you wake up every day in a hellish state of condition. You don't have to die to do that. Not to mention the fact that you got the real devil. The real devil killing you. Killing you right in your face. You don't have to die for the devil to get your soul. Can't you see that the real devil is killing you right now with their guns? They're beating you right now in the streets because... They have been giving authority to do that by the people who actually run the city. Whew. You think about that. Am I making any sense to you? Please, by all means, if I'm making some sense to you, leave your comments in the comment section. Please. And as for this one guy whose name is Cash Kelly. I did want to say his name, but I'm going to say it anyway. If you all are familiar with this guy, or if you're not familiar with this guy, Cash Kelly made a video stating that, and it was his latest video, and he stated that he would use his platform to honor the police and dedicate parts of that platform. He didn't say parts of it. He said he's going to dedicate his platform to honoring the police and propagating the police as good people. What is your uh, uh, answer to this, Cash Kelly? Are those police guilty? Seeing that you say that you know nothing but good cops, really? Well, if you only know nothing but good cops, like I said, why aren't those good cops turning those bad cops in? Actually, they're just as bad. And seeing that you, if I'm not mistaken, have former ties to the street and now you want to form ties with law enforcement who's killing you every day showing you that they have no respect for you yet you want to dedicate your platform to law enforcement can anybody answer that question for me can you answer that question cash kelly and for those of you uh in the back uh in the back curtains of youtube please put this in cash kelly face Please put this in his face. For all of for all of you, all of you, check this out. 
He talked about 43 law enforcement people who have been killed in 2020. 43, look how many people that they kill daily. Look how many people that they kill daily. And if I'm not mistaken, you're talking about 43. Well, according as of to August 31st, 2020, 661 people have been shot and killed by the police. And most of them have been unarmed. Three quarters of them were unarmed. So what do you call that, Cash Kelly? Seeing that you know nothing but good law enforcement and that they're good people and this and that, that's bullshit, yo. What's your aim? <clears throat> What's your aim? I'm saying, why are you working to uphold bad, terrible, rotten law enforcement whom I'm looking to be defunded just as many people should be looking for them to get defunded. There's no reason to ask why. Look at the atrocities that they place on the lives of people. Look at that. Is that wrong or is that right? But yet and still, you want to support a corrupt system that shows you that they're corrupt and you continuously want to support that? Dedicate your platform to stench, to funkiness, to wrongness, to evilness. That's what you're dedicating your, your, your platform to, right? That's what you're honoring. You're honoring demons, right? You're honoring the devil, right? You're honoring the devil. You want to give your platform to the devil? You honoring the devil? That's not something that I'm just throwing out there. These are the actions that they have displayed across America in your face every day. And then those who employ them say that they can get away with it so that they can continue to do it. So all of those people who are out here suffering at the hands of law enforcement, I guess their lives don't mean anything. I guess you don't think that people get tired of people killing them what do you all think you let me know the mosquitoes is eating me up out here um uh, brown and taylor and the cops that did that do you all think that was part of the law settlement i just wanted you to answer that because that's what i really think in my heart as i mentioned in my other video about brianna taylor by all means let me know what you think and do you think that the police should have the right just to run up in your house? Should you or should you not be able to fire and shoot them and kill them possibly for them entering the wrong place or just doing what they want to do, breaking the law? Is it right for you to defend yourself against the police? Is it? Let me know what you think out there. I don't know what's going on in your city. And if it's not happening in your city, it's going to happen in your city. Why? Because you continue to allow it to happen. It's the M-O-P-O-W-E-R-Z where knowledge is power, you all. Let me know what you think. Louisville is going up. It's going up. And Minnesota is going to go up as well when you all hear the convictions of or the outcome of the officers that were involved in George Floyd's murder. The same thing is going to happen that happened in Freddie Gray's case. The same thing is going to happen that happened in Sandra Bland's case. The same thing is going to happen that happened to all of these cases. Justified fear for their lives. But when you fear for your life and you kill one of them, it's against the law. What do you think? It's your brother, the 13th letter to the cipher. Thanks for viewing you all.